you're live. I'm live. Hello. Hey, everybody. It's Saturday. Is it Saturday? My gosh, it's Saturday night. Saturday night. Hi, guys. This is going to be a live uh, video recording and uh, stream. And we are going to be doing some arts and crafts for, for adults. Hey, cut that out. Cut that. The dogs are fighting. And um, so if, if you're watching this later and you want to skip through the boring parts to get to the fast parts, I invite you to do so. In the meantime, I'm going to be reacting and uh, talking to the chat room. And that's how we like to do this. We like to play it that way. So, Teresa's first. Yay, Teresa. <laughs> How you doing today, Teresa, honey? Well, hi, Donna, honey. Hi, Donna. <laughs> and Candy. Hi, Candy. What y'all doing? Waiting on me? I've been sitting here. <coughs> I have been not twiddling my thumbs, though. I've been doing, doing a few things. <laughs> Catching up. Catching up. So, I got some happy mail today. <coughs> <coughs> and Mina's here. <coughs> Excuse me, I don't know why I started coughing. I just started coughing because I just got online. Hi, Joe. Joe's in the house. Hi, ladies. You need anything? Not that I know of. Thank you, baby. So, um, I think while well, I've got just probably two minutes to myself here, and before I get open the happy mail, I'm going to glue in this little book for just two minutes while you guys are chit chatting and greeting everybody. Hi, Joy. So, I got a few things here. To glue in my book. Hi, I've Donna. been collecting for a few days. Hi, Joy. So, anybody doing anything? Anybody know anything? Everybody doing okay? Did any of y'all watch the hop yesterday? Some of the hop? I watched some of it. That's cool. Hi, Candace. Yeah. I could probably go through the back and find more empty pages. <laughs> and my Candace. my um, my glue pot is in the sink, <laughs> soaking. I've got to clean it out. That that's glue in there. You don't want to pour it down the drain. Well, no, I filled it full of water twice. <laughs> we don't let that goopy stuff get in the drain. I've seen that goopy stuff inside there. It it'll, kept moving it'll, and clog the, it'll clog the it'll clog the pipes up. It's glue. I knew it. It'll stick to the to the hair balls down there and create a bigger ball. Oh my! Set up like concrete. <laughs> now it'll always be soft, but it'll be always be goopy. So I put hot water on it, trying to clean that jar out for you. And, well, but I, I just, just just the top, yeah, uh, you know the heavy part. Anyway, I think I have another glue. But uh, it was really. Um, oh, I got some of this stuff. I'll as she was this. sleeping, I was playing with the glue in the in the <laughs> in the bathroom sink. Did you take your pills this morning? Yeah. Okay. I didn't know if you did or not because yeah. I took mine. Today's fourteenth, ain't it? Yeah. I marked it on the calendar. Oh, you did? Yeah. I tell you what I would like to have is some clean water. Well, look at that. These just two of these. You keep putting other colors in there, you will have mud, I've mud got brown. Mud, I got mud brown now. Okay. You so want this one clean? Those just those two. You can take the okay. whole caddy. Take the whole caddy. Okay. And uh I mean uh Candace. Just 
putting a few things in my glue book. <clears throat> I saw the whole thing all the way till the end with Mary. Oh, wow, Candy. I I couldn't get up. Uh, I, I was, I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't get up in time to wake up. Which so uh, that was out of the question, and then and then uh, in the evening, I couldn't find Kathy Arbor for the longest time, and it's because, well, she didn't come on until the till the last few seconds. So I I finally found Kathy's channel, and then I kept getting confused because of the time schedule, because it's she's got it fixed up in central time and i and i kept thinking i was late or something it was terrible <laughs> but uh it was just a mind game you was in a zone I, well i guess because you didn't get enough sleep probably and then you, you couldn't i've not been sleeping well at all zone. yeah hi janet how are you doing hi janet i talked to a lady at church tonight and uh, a friend of hers, uh, relative, I believe it was, uh, lives over uh, in London and got to talk and everything. And she's going to try to get her hooked up with uh, with the, the group. So, and uh, she, she's over there. Uh, I think she lives with her daughter, maybe. And uh, she can get her fixed up and uh, she says she thought that that would be awesome for her to get involved in something because she's not doing anything and she's at home by herself a lot. So, you know, that would be great for her and some kind of activity with you. Joe's trying to advertise for with school. Your girl. Guys, I about it. Okay, you be in the lurking mode. I'll be sending a little box out to you on Monday. It's a very, very lightweight. <laughs> So yeah, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Okay, I'm just gluing. I'm just putting a few things down in the glue book uh, while we're waiting for everybody to come in. Just while I'm waiting. There's that Jersey crafter. Hi, hey. Laura. Hi, Laura. <laughs> Laura, you you shouldn't down, you shouldn't talk about yourself like that. I was so sad this morning. Was it this morning? When did I watch it? <laughs> was it yesterday it or today? Last, last night. No, I. She was on live. I can't remember if it was yesterday or today. And and Laura, you are worthy. You are worthy. You are you are awesome. You're one of a kind. <laughs> I can tell you were made special. <laughs> I told Beth, I said, I know who that is. <laughs> You're special, sweetie pie. Your voice is unique. Very well, unique. well, she was saying that she didn't even know why she was doing the hop and all this crapola. Oh, gosh, and it fun. was crapola. That's all it was, Laura. You are an excellent teacher. And you show, you encourage people that do nothing you see you you do encourage people to do a little something because if you can do it they can do it you see that's the way i look at it because i'm a crafter <laughs> <laughs> i know you were i know you were joking around <laughs> but you you uh you are you are very very good you just don't know it but you are you are we all are. We're all good. <laughs> we're good at something. I don't know what it, that, that something is, but we're good at something. I'm the sure talent. everybody will agree. Everybody has a talent. That's right. And they're given a talent on this earth. That's right. And God sometimes makes you realize what your talent is and you <laughs> see to the maximum. Joe's going to lift you up. You know, we all, just, yes, right. That's right. Thank you, Teresa. That's good. That's perfect. So, so anyway, we are going to be, uh, oh, oh, I got a new picture we're going to paint along with. I can't wait to show it to you. <laughs> I, 
I might, it was on the, um, I think the thumbnail. We're going to do this picture tonight, girls. On our paint along. It's an autumn girl. Let me see if I can get it without blurry. But it's similar to the truck, you know, with That's the it. trees on the side. But then we've got this little girl on the, walking down the road. So she took, she was in the truck and she took a walk down the road and, uh, and, uh, her boyfriend's back at the truck, putting the pumpkins in the back of the truck. Do y'all catch that? And this, now look at the sun. The sun is textured like with a palette knife. It's real thick. Right there. Yeah. It's real thick. The sun is real thick. So I can't wait to do that. Background blue skies. So we're going to do this in a few minutes. Uh, we're going to uh, we'll, we'll we'll play it uh, as, as soon as Cheryl gets uh, gets in here. We'll we'll do a, a prompt game with her prompt cards. She's been supplying us with prompt cards, and this is for you guys. This is for every one of you. Because you're special. He has to say you're special because he can't read backwards on the big screen. What's it say then? You are amazing. Well, I, didn't, I wasn't <laughs> reading that. I, I know you weren't. Just tell him how I feel about him. That's They're right. Special. That's right. <laughs> and somebody gave me this in some happy mail, and I'm going to be putting it in my book. Boom. As soon as I get something up here. Boom. Oh, I got something to show you all. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Really? I don't know when it might come about, but it's going to be neat. It's going to be neat? Uh-huh. Show them this. You ain't seen it. This best going to be surprised on this one. Oh, it's a wind chime. I can do that? Lay it down flat so he's got a good picture. It's a wind Not chime. It's bad. pottery. Right there. Look at them wind chimes. There's fish. There's leaves. There's butterflies. I don't see the fish. The fish is right here. That's a fish? Well, it's actually a little leaf, but it upside down, it looks like a fish. Oh, oh. Joe's making things up again, guys. Well, if you hold it still. It's leaves and butterflies. It, 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 I can't it. hold it still. I can't even sit still. Does that not look like a fish if you flipped it? Does. Yes, Joe. It looks like a little seahorse. Okay. So this was at Habitat. Habitat. How much was it? It, it, it doesn't matter. I get, didn't buy it. I can make it. I know it. That's why I, I just need to take to know, a picture. I just need to know how much I need to sell it when I make it. <laughs> You're not like that. I know I'm not. <laughs> but I just I was I walked in and this lady's had it and i said oh my gosh i gotta take a picture of that my wife will go crazy when she sees it well go in there okay go in there in the living room yeah and open up my cupboard uh -huh. and look for the little bowl there should be a little bowl of 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 turkeys and leaves okay uh, in ceramics and if it's not there it's in the orange box in the garage One more picture of it. but that somebody gave it to the habitat to sell Yeah, but I'd be curious to see how much they ask for it because, you know, the thing of it is, is it's not that expensive. Pottery is not that expensive, but by the time you bake it twice and you use all that electric and then all of the time you make it, you have to knead the, the, the clay and then you have to mold it and cut it out with the cookie cutters and then you have to bake it and then you have to get it back out of the oven. I mean, every time you pick it up, you pick it up about 15 times before you actually get it to this stage uh, and uh, ready to, to give away. But those are, those are pretty cool. Oh, well, anyway, back to my book. I'm just going to do a couple more pages, and I'm going to put this on. Oh, 
Oh, you found a ring neck snake? Yes. They're very they get they get a little bit bigger than that. I've seen I've seen a, a, a ring neck snake before and they're supposed to be good. Good snakes. Uh, I've seen them up in Kentucky. I haven't seen any, uh, but I think they're down here too, the ring neck ones. They're really kind of pretty with a with a pretty yellow. Was it yellow? Yeah, it's a member of the King family. So that is just going to be perfect right there. But if I work in my glue book just a few minutes every day, I'll get her done. Then I could start another book. Yay! So that's all I'm going to do to that. I, I, at least I got those two pages done. Instructions for that. Oh, did you see any fall decorations? Where? In the cupboard. Against the wall. Mm -hmm. in, in the living room. Over here. Yeah. Against the wall. Mm -hmm. no, he, was, he went to the wrong cupboard. It's okay. If he don't find them, I'll find them. And I think I've, I've got some more decorations in the garage. And I've got them in a uh, orange tub. An orange tub. And he didn't bring me back my water thing. Okay. So let's get busy. Let's get busy. Is Cheryl here yet? Hi, Nick Janet. I didn't say really hi to y'all. Everybody. Hi, Deborah. Did I catch everybody? So there's a few more pretty papers to put in my book. I'll put them right here. And this came off of some Happy Mail. I'm going to put those in there. Some scrappy papers. Some tissue papers. This was uh, Malaya's letter that she sent me from Finland. Did I say it right? Is that her name? Sana. It's Sana's. It was Sana's envelope. This came off of Kendra's envelope. There's some more cute little cards that you all have been sending me. That I'm going to try to put in there. I found some real pretty map paper yesterday. Um, that um, that I'm going to be making some of the um, origami dolls out of that paper of Japan. I thought that would be cute. Some stickers and a little bit more tissue paper. So these little tidbits are be nice to glue in, in my book. So I'll just put this little rubber band on it. And we'll work on this again next time. Okay. Um, so I was waiting on Teresa, on uh, Cheryl to come in uh, to do her, her game. I don't think she's posted it yet. And uh, so in the meantime, let's go ahead and you want to do the paint along. Or are they already in, Candy? Well, let me write them down so I'll have them. I haven't really been in here very much today. Oh, Becky did so good on her wreath. Her wreaths are so pretty. I don't know if she did two or or one. She's got bows on it. But such a cute uh, Christmas wreath from yesterday's art hop. Thank you, Janet. It is coming along fabulous. I love it. It is really, it's coming along. And and then I'm going to continue to, I've been working on my, uh, <clears throat> My Frankenstein, I don't know what else to call it, my Frankenstein <laughs> cover. It's also a uh, crazy quilt cover, coverlet. What did I do with it? It was right here. It was right here a minute ago. Oh, here it is. So I haven't done any work on it today. But uh, but this is going to be, uh, 
my crazy quilt book cover and and i've got it packed down onto some i like uh i like the parchment paper the um there's cheryl um i use parchment paper and i guess deli paper would be very similar i tried the wax paper and it was a little bit it it tore it i didn't like the wax paper personal choice so, uh, but I do like the parchment paper. And then this will be glued down onto the cover of a book. So whenever I make my book, I'm going to probably use something like this, a, a manila folder. I've got some more up here. I've been cutting on this one. And so it will be covered. It will cover a, uh, a book and I will make a spine have a spine on it so so it will have it will have a square a square end and uh, then I'll then I can sew some paper I'll make I'll make the book first sew in the paper and then I will glue this on the outside of the book cover and it will be cute and I've got a little cluster already on there for the front of it so but I've got to do some hand work on it and I've, I've started but I haven't uh, done anything today been busy doing i've been busy sleeping so cheryl we're going to do the uh the um prop game next so i was get i just got on the facebook to get to get the prompts that's all I, and then i got off on a there they are i got off on that uh, wreath so let's write these down and see what we got it says and we can put them in any order that you want okay so the first one says add a quote your words or the words of someone you admire song lyrics and poetry work will work as well and then it has paint and then it says drip or spray uh okay drip or spray watered down paint okay we can do that try dripping from different edges and in different directions you might also try fluid paints liquid watercolors acrylic inks or any other flow high flow paint so anything that has drippage you can use Hi, Becky. I just showed off your wreaths. <laughs> I love them. They're beautiful, Becky. <laughs> I got off on a, on a, uh, I came on here to look for these prompt cards and I got off on, I saw your wreaths first. So, you know, I went down that road first. <laughs> okay. Oh, someone's feeling sick. Okay, Gigi and him, husband is okay with the pain gillies. back to the hospital on Monday. Oh, goodness, Gigi. Sending healing vibes and prayers. Hi, Nash. Hi. We're getting ready to play a prompt game. Get your, get your papers out. So we got drip and spray. And then the next one is add a decorative tape. Oh, well, we can add washi tape. Add tape. And I also have some uh, masking tape. I got this kind of tape. This is a um, scotch masking tape. Here's your phone back. Mm -hmm. And did you bring me my water uh, bottles back? Um, so add... It could be washing tape, masking tape, or tissue tape works well. You can use any kind of tape 
homemade tape, if you've made any homemade tape, add tape. Tape, tape, tape. Tape it up. And then the last one is doodle flowers. Come on, Becky. You can doodle flowers the best. We'll get Becky in here to play with us. Doodle flowers. Leaves. <laughs> trees. Bushes. Grass. And or other items found in nature. Okay. Nature. And doodle, doodle some nature. Okay. And those are the five prompts. So uh, let me get my book out. I'm done with that. And the more I look at this that we did last Thursday, the more I like it. It's it's really it's really it's 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 uh it, it's really close to my heart. <laughs> <laughs> so the very first thing i think i'm going to do is oh i forgot to open our happy meal oh gosh back up beep 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 i want to show this off this is um happy meal and um it's from colleen colleen gravis and she lives in texas Oh, Oregon. She lives in Oregon. I don't know why I thought she lived in Texas for some reason. I got her confused. So anyway, she sent me her tissues and her tissue paper stamps. And they're really, really cute. They're done in, thank you, dear, right there. Thank you. Uh, this one's done in brown and black. And I like him. I like it a lot. She's got a bunny on there. And she's got some crackling. And she's got some nice old stamps. So, yeah, that's that's nice. It's cute. She's got some hedgehog, hedgehog on a bicycle. <laughs> that's cute. So, these are nice. And they look like they're all just about the same. Maybe a little different. Maybe a, a few of them are different, but they're very, very nice. So thank you, Colleen. If she's in here yet, she comes in a lot. So these are cute. There's some leaves. I could use this in my doodles, but, but it said to doodle them. So there's butterflies, some more hedgehogs. She likes hedgehogs. It looks like hedgehogs. They're eating the strawberries. <laughs> very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. So the, she's going into the the stamp trade box. As soon as I, I think I need one more to um, split the, the next batch up. So if you haven't got yours in the mail, I need for them to go ahead and get them in the mail ASAP. So that we can get this over with. So everybody's. I've already sent out one batch. And she also sent me some. A uh, couple of Christmas cards. And uh, she said that she bought these Christmas cards. To decorate. And to cut up and use in her art. So she says I'm just sharing. <laughs> She's sharing. And so this is something that we're going to be doing. Right after Thanksgiving. I'm going to be um, doing a Christmas card exchange. Uh, you send me your Christmas card and I will make you one and send it back. Uh, I'm doing just one-on-one -on -one between me and you. Uh, if you guys want to, um, you know, send Christmas cards out to, to, to everybody in the uh chat or in the address file you may i'm just going to do the ones who want one for me and uh I've, i just wanted to keep it light and simple okay just so simple so you all can organize that one uh with your between you all 
so so uh i um i will be i will be sending one to colleen <laughs> so one of these is colleen's i might as well put i could put her name on the back of it now because she sent me her address is right here <laughs> hi barbara hi honey so uh, yeah this is this will be good hi nash So uh, that that'll be for my Christmas card. So I probably should. I'm going to put them right in here for right now. So I'll I'll know where they are. And she sent a she put a, a napkin on her on her envelope and did it up right nice. It's tea stained. I got some stamps on there. Cute, cute, cute. Hi, so okay, good, good with that. So now Sharon, we can do the game. Sharon Lombard in the house. So, um, since I'm going to be doodling fall and nature, I'm going to put fall and nature paint on my background. And I'm going to use uh, a little bit of gold. And I might use some of uh, that, uh, some, some beige and the territorial brown that I like. The brown that I like. National Zane. Nash, just say, you can say Nash. It's Nashua. Okay. Nashua. Nashua. Uh, she's from Cairo, she Joe. Joe funny. Did she spell? Did she spell it funny? How'd mm -hmm. she spell it? Well, I can't find it now. Oh, J. G O E. That's okay. That's quite all right. We understand typey typeanese around here. We type typeish all the time. Hi, Mark. How you hey, doing, hi, Mark? Mark. Where you been? Howdy, howdy. Julie Parker. So if you want to play a game, get your paper out. We're, uh, here, I'll read the prompts again, and you all can play along. You can put them on in any order that you ha get. These are prompt cards that Cheryl posted in our group. Okay, Julie. <laughs> okay. Okay, making it up is <laughs> after church. That's great. That'll be fine, honey. You've been good. You've been working. Okay, Mark. Well, hope you've been staying stay safe. Um, so you can uh, add add a quote, uh, add acrylic paint, drip and spray and water down paint. And then you can add tape, any kind of tape, washi tape, duct tape, any kind of tape, and doodle. And, we, and the doodling has to be of fall and nature. Fall, nature. Flowers, leaves, trees, bushes, and grass. Well, it doesn't have to be fall. It could be summertime, I guess, or Christmas time. <laughs> but I'm going to go with the fall thing since it's, you know, since it's November. Okay. Yeah, you could do any kind of thing. Whatever you're ready for. Some of y'all up north have been getting some snow, so you might be doing some snow scenes. Drip and spray is your forte. Good. Well, you know, I was getting my colors out and I'm I'm I've got gold, beige, and brown. And I think I'm gonna get me some green. And again, this is all going to be watered down, and I'm going to let it drip down the page. And I'm going to get another shade of green, and I'm going to get a little bit of yellow and orange. I'm going to get a little bit of orange, and I'm going to let this drip down my page. So I better get my paper towels out <laughs> right now. Let me get my paper towels out. So, uh, yeah, yeah, that would be good. So, let me see. I've got some napkins down here. I'm sure, huh? I'm sure where those things are supposed to be. What things? Whatever you want me to look for. I don't know what you're talking about. Your um, autumn stuff. Any, any oh, that's fine. I, it's in the orange box in the garage. 
Oh, there's oh. an orange box. There's an orange, which is fall, and there's a lime green, which is Easter. Okay. Well, why was it looking in the living room? Well, I had some overflow things there, okay. but I also have it's in the orange box. You need to find me my orange box. So I'm going to stand my book up here and let it drip all down here. Uh, it'll be in the garage. Okay. So I, I don't know where they are in the garage. They're, they're stacked up somewhere. So I got some paper here. And I've got this. So I might as well put this on. This will help me from keeping the back of the books clean. That'll work. I just keep it away from the spine. And, and I'll be fine. I know you can't see the very top. But you're going to see the drippage. Okay. Everybody okay? So, so I am using the second prompt with the third prompt. Uh, drip, drip or spray paint. And then the paint, number two and three are together. Okay. I don't know if I need any more paint after I drip and spray. I suppose I could use more paint. But, um, but I'm using my paint to drip. So we'll just we'll just take it from there and and see how it goes. And so I'm going to use my palette, and I'm going to start with. I don't know if I'll end up needing the 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 beige or not because I'm going to use this one. So I don't know which which one to use first. The first one I pick up. Will that work? <laughs> So here's my water. Let's see here. I do have a pipette. And I'm just going to use my fan brush. Actually, I can use my pipette and let it drip. But this might be all right, too. Let's see how this works. I'm going to let it drip. It's a dripping. You see it yet? It's a dripping. So I haven't done this for a while, a long time. I have done some drippage before, but it's been a while. It's going to be unique today. Okay. Um, let's see if this works. I used my little pipette. This would have been fun for Halloween. <laughs> Wouldn't it? Okay, I got brown. Yes, I did with the umbrellas. You remembered. Yeah, I did it like four or five times. Uh, we were doing masking techniques. It was different. It was cute. Yeah, the sprays. I do have some sprays. But I'm going to try dripping paint. 
I want to drip it all, all on there. So, let's see. What would go good after the brown? And this paint is almost gone. And I've already watered it down. So, <laughs> I'm just going to... Here, it's already watered down. So, I'm just going to drip it from the bottle because it's already watered. <laughs> oh, I'm having fun, guys. I'm having fun. I wish I could I wish y'all could see the top. I'm going to have to put a, some more paper towel down there. For sure. We're dripping. We're taking our time. Taking our time. Doing a good job. There's the top. Doing good. I'm not finished dripping though. I've got some more to drip. And I know that this is also watered down, so I'm going to use this straight from the bottle, too. The thing about the, at the top, is they go down the same channels <laughs> as the other colors. They go on top of the, the channels. The, the drips that were already made. There's the orange. Can't wait to do the green. Is any of the greens empty? I'm going to have to use the paintbrush with the greens. If I use this all up, I can pitch it. There, that's good. I got some bubbles on that one. I wonder what I sh should do about the bubbles. <laughs> See my bubbles? Oh, good. I could tilt this. I got bubbles. <laughs> should I pop them? <laughs> should I try to pop them? Can I pop them? Yeah, I can pop them. The fan's on. They're popping from the fan. I'm not going to bother them. I'll, I'll let them let them be natural. <laughs> Okay. You love this. Okay. Oh. No, it's not candy corn, but I do have some candy corn. I need to make some bracelets with my candy corn. I think I've got some candy corn. But these are not... Um, oh, I'm sorry. There you go. No, these are just glass beads. Okay, I'm really kind of worried about this mess down here. 
So maybe I should try to change it out just so that I don't have a, a bigger problem later. It's getting really soupy, soupy, soupy. Okay, now I'm going to go with the greens. See, I really didn't get enough enough orange. It didn't go down. The uh, yellow went on top of it. I'll try that. Adding drippage. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Missy, Missy, Missy. <laughs> Thank you, Barbara. <laughs> it is. It's melted. It's melted fall candy, isn't it? I think I need a little bit more green on there, though. And you know I could, and I, um, um, <clears throat> after this dries, and it, and you see the white that's showing. If I have any white left over showing after I dry the drips, I can still use my paint comp and go over the white part with a real diluted pastel green or something like that to cover the white you know make it almost like a watercolor uh thin and uh, so that might be an option to get that white covered up and the other green i have out is a is a lime green So let's see if I can get it diluted. Dog alert. Sorry. Sorry. They, uh, have a bad habit and I don't know what to do about it. Uh, Nor does. Every time Joe comes in and out of the door, Nor wants to bark. And it's always Joe. And it's like, you know it's Joe. You don't have to bark. So I don't know what to do with her. Just 
deal with it, I guess. <laughs> Just go with the flow. I'm going with the flow, girls. Going with the flow. We're going to doodle. We got a doodle on top of this. Hi, Joyce. Okay, close your eyes, Janice. Close your eyes and fall asleep. <coughs> That'll be fine. I understand. So, um... Oh, Nora, goodness gracious. I'm sorry, guys. She startles me. She's starting to get louder when she barks. I told Joe he should call her names before he opens the door. Hi, Joycey. And see if that would help, if he would holler Nora's name and they could hear him first. I wonder if that, you know... I don't know. He probably wouldn't do it anyway. So, I'm going to switch out my napkin again. Switch out my napkin. I'll put it back here this time. Okay. Oh, I haven't done the gold yet. I lost the gold. We still got more to do. I think the gold's going to really make it, give it something. I don't know what's going to give it, but it's going to give it something. And I'm going to put the gold over here by itself. Hi, Melissa. We're putting some paint down on our, on our page. Making a mess. <clears throat> making a tiny mess. I am I'm, I'm keeping it under control. Creating a happy mail folder. That sounds nice, Joyce. See? I, I do a, a, a book. I got a little book with my happy mail in it. Hi, Sherry. <coughs> okay, here's the gold. It's diluted, though, so I don't know how much gold it's going to produce. And this is taking just a little bit of time to do <laughs> on top of everything.
I'm being brave. I do have a fan going on in here in the background. So here we go. This is it. That's it. <laughs> Let's see here. Let's see here. I'm going to try drying it now. <clears throat> It looks pretty cool to me. It looks like a striped gourd. Hi, Janice. <laughs> Everybody likes messy art, right? Mm -hmm. Especially when somebody else does it. I'm afraid it's probably going to take a while to dry. So anyway, we did the paint and the drip. I'm considering that done. That one's done and that one's done. So then uh, we're gonna we're gonna doodle, add some washi tape, and add a quote. So I'll let you hi Barbara. Um, I'm gonna let you all come up with a fall quote. So get hot popping there on that deal. And and I will I will put a fall quote on the top of the page. And uh, and I'm pretty sure I got some fall. I've got some. I got some pretty cool washi tape. This is pretty. It's like a crackle, and it's in gold. So we could use some of that. I can make a border with the washi tape. That would look pretty. I got enough of that. And then, um, and then I will, I will doodle some flowers and leaves and bushes and grass and nature. You know, when I first started doing this, I didn't think it was going to turn out this good. <laughs> but you know what goes through an ugly stage first? It always does. I just don't want to mess it up if I doodling all over it. See if I can't doodle a sunflower. Wouldn't that be pretty on there? A sunflower. Oh, it would, Joy. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I could do it. 
I can do it. I downloaded some new pictures today. This is for any time. We have it. I can get it to. I thought that would be fun to do sometime. I thought that would be fun to do sometime. I thought this would be fun to do sometime. Joycey, hey Joycey, Joycey would like this one. I thought I'd try something like that sometime to be different. I've never done anything like that. Joycey would like that one. Y'all like the, the koi fish? Well, I've got I'm I'm I thought this one might be fun to do in 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 pencil. Since there's so much activity, I'd like to do that in pencil. Still needs to dry just a little more around the edges. And this would be cute to do sometime. These are my wish list. <laughs> and then in for December we could do a snowy scene in December I've made quite a few snowmen in my day and I thought she was pretty Like, I think she's a, uh, a Disney character. And I thought we would try a little bit of Van Gogh. Everybody always tries Van Gogh. Just for fun. <laughs> and then this is the one I picked out for tonight. And that's the last one there and and um and then i got a picture of a cat oh i downloaded these too let's see if y'all can see them i thought that we could do the penguins in the white book and do our painting in the white book i think that would be a excellent idea the little the little kitty cats are cute with their with their decorative hats on 
and uh, and there's a cat and a bird and a tree. I think those would be fun. And then this one is cute, the dog and the cat. I downloaded these today. We, there's another penguin to put in the white book. I think we should do those. I, I love this. This is a, a beach, a rainbow beach. The kitty's cute. And look, an origami doll. <laughs> I'd like to try to do her too. I, I don't know. Maybe I could do her in pencils. I could try it. And then uh, the black cat sitting on the pumpkin is up here. This one. I would just do the cat and the pumpkin as a doodle and not the background so much. Or I could do it as a doodle, but it'll all be done in black. And I would leave this as the background. I'm just going to do the outlining of this. I'll try that, Joyce. I can try it. I'll take a picture of it. Dog alert. <laughs> Hit my live button. Get back up to speed. Okay. So I'm going to doodle and I'm going to add paint or tape and a quote. And uh, does anybody have a quote for me? Are you working on a quote? Will you work on a quote for me? Get my, my markers out. I love my little caddies. I think they've turned out so cute. And I can really, I can put them here to use. I just think they're neat. Hi, honey. Joe's been in the garage. He brought me in my orange tub. We, we're on a, uh, we're on a, instead of a rabbit trail, we're on a, <laughs> we're going to open that box up and look at all my pretties. <laughs> I don't know what you call pretty. Why? Well, I mean, I don't know. All my fall things are pretty. Oh, all okay. of my, everything in that box is beautiful. Okay. Really? No joke. I'm still waiting on this to dry. Is this it? Yeah, this is the fall box. Okay. It's orange, and it says fall. I see that. I can read. I know you can read. You're smart. Some things. I gotta let this dry a little bit. Hey. hey. So, we're going on a turkey trail. <laughs> Will you pick that, lay it up for me right there? <laughs> Here's my fall decorations. That'll go in the living room. I'm looking. Here's my tablecloth. I'm looking for my pottery things, and they're in here. There's my scarecrows. What I do when I decorate is I'll take my scarecrows and stick them in the current vases and flowers and things, and, and that's my fall decorations. Easy. <laughs> Easy peasy. Bouncing, Mr. I don't see okay. any of my, my, uh, There's some drawing stuff. We got fall leaves. 
Hey, check this. Oh, I got fall leaves. Oh, stickers. This is just art supplies for the fall. There's a turkey on the back. Well, why don't you look down in there? I want to see my angels. I don't see any angels in here. There's another box. I've got another fall box. This is my little pumpkin that my mom made. We sit it on the table like this, and then when after Halloween's over, we turn it around. <laughs> I don't see any of my uh, uh, angels, so there's another box that says fall on it. Okay. That must have been the one that fell when I was pulling it out. <laughs> and I think you're right. It said fall. I'm it did fall. say fall, didn't it? I'm, okay. I'm going to fall. So this could go into the living room. I'll keep this bag. And I'll put those out later. Okay. Thank you, Joe. We tried. So this here is just a bag of decorations. Uh, crafty stuff. So... I used to do Sunday school and stuff, and I did a lot of stuff with the kids, making things. You, you, you can take this out now. Okay. It goes into the living room. Okay, so anyway, I'm going to get my markers back out, and I'll see if I can Put this on there. I'm going to draw this kitty cat. And, um, and it, I'm just going to outline the cat. I'm not going to fill it in. And my, my uh, this marker just ran out. I don't know if it has anything in it or not. I've got another marker that's like a giant marker. I don't see it in here. I'm just going to go, oh, oh, this one's good and juicy. We'll use this one. Yeah, this is a good one. And then he's sitting on the pumpkin. I'm going to have to call her the cat in. So the pumpkin will show.
just goofing off, you guys. Anybody else playing along? Wow, my chat. There it goes. Autumn is the year's last loveliest smile. smile. Is the year's last loveliest, love, lovely, loveliest smile. Okay, that could be our quote. I want mine to be it. Oh, wait a minute, there's more. There is nothing more truly artistic than to love people, Vincent Van Gogh. Well, we could put that on Van Gogh's. I'll write that on that um, for the his picture. Okay, I'll write it down. Rebecca went to Walmart to pick up an order and waited 15 minutes until I realized I was in the wrong Walmart. <laughs> my gosh no oh no oh oh <laughs> oh i hate that oh my gosh yeah we have a uh, pickup at um uh, a different Walmart than the one we go to that, that it's further away from us. But I don't think the Walmart that uh, my Walmart 10 miles away from me anyway, but it doesn't take very long to get there. It's a nice drive. Of course, I could have used a little bit of paint. Oh, well. Too late now. So, this is, I guess we could use this as my paint along, even though it's my, uh, Prompt game. I should have put the paint along on here is what I should have done. Oh, I can imagine Rebecca. Oh, my gosh. Wow. <laughs> yeah, there's my pumpkin. Now, what can I do to make it look more like a pumpkin? What you doing, Joe? The cat mad at you? He won't turn around and look at you. <laughs> you're gonna turn. You're gonna make him turn around and look at you anyway, ain't you? Put his eyeballs in. <laughs> I could. Let's see here. Oh, you're gonna. Got pumpkins in the field. Yeah. Mm. I'm giving this a try. I'm just, I've never done it this. I've never done it like this before. So we're just giving it a try. There's a couple of pumpkins in the field.
Okay. All right. How's that look for my sketch? Come up with a quote, ladies, for Beth. Oh, they already did, Joyce. You, we're going to use yours. Autumn is the year's last loveliest smile. I can't pronounce it, but that's a beautiful quote. And then I'm going to write down uh, the Van Gogh one. For when we do the Van Gogh. Ta -da. So. Uh, I don't know if this will bleed through or not, but I'll write it here. Uh, there is nothing more truly artistic So this is going to go with the uh, the Van Gogh picture when we do the Van Gogh. Now you have to help me remember, but I'm going to put it in this. Uh, no, I need to put it in the paint along book. That's what I need to put. And then you want to put a quote on this one, and we're going to use autumn is the last, the year's last. Last, loveliest smile. I E L E S T smile. Very nice. Thank you, Joyce. <laughs> He's sitting on a pumpkin. <laughs> Okay, so anyway, that was, that was, I was supposed to doodle, okay, well, I drew and doodled a little bit, and then I added a quote, and those were the last, oh, I have to add washi tape, okay, so here's my washi tape, so I'll add it, and then we'll be ready to go, we'll be done, this is, this is the, the prompt. Okay, is everybody with me? Are we on the same page? <laughs> I'm, I'm having fun. I'm having a fun. And this this tape, it's nice, pretty thick.
tape, but it doesn't have much sticky on it. So I'm going to go ahead and use a little tacky glue. And I'm just going to put a border around. Uh, I don't normally put glue down on my washi tape, but this one I am. A little crackle tape there. You're on page 93? Wow! <laughs> Ninety-three. How many pages does your Medicare book have? Lay down. Abby, lay down. You're a good girl. Lay down. Okay. I got washi tape on there. I've done all my prompts. Oh, you skip around. <laughs> there you go. That's good. That's good. I'm glad I used a uh, a Lowe's a Lowe's pamphlet once. <laughs> it was one of those uh, books that you get in the paint department, and it, and it had it was a flip out, and it had several flip outs in it, and it had different samples of paint and stuff. Dinner's ready. Okay, Teresa's going to go eat, and um, and I used it. And, and use it for a glue book and I did like I used it for like a whole month I'll have to find it and show it to you so I did I did I did sit out a couple of books uh, I am done with this I'm going to just sign it now and uh, it is 11 14 and this is Cheryl's prompt game Thank you, Cheryl. I really like what we've done. I really like it. We'll take a picture of it real quick. So we'll have it. Very nice. Very nice. And then I'm going to put my markers away. And we can take a little break, and I'm going to show you a book um, that <clears throat> we can do. Um, we can either do the fall painting we were going to do, or we can do uh, the turkey roll, whichever one you all want to do first. I don't mind either one. But while we're wait while I'm waiting on you all to decide, I wanted to show you this book. I've been wanting to show it to you for a couple of weeks. <clears throat> and uh, and my sticker book here. My sticker book has this picture of a lady dancing. And it reminded me of a picture in this book that I did. So I'm going to see if I can't find it real quick. So 
See, we could put these in the white book. And she's right here in the book when I get to her. Every time I look at her and see her, I think of this white book. This is a photo book, a photo album, and I got it at the secondhand store for a couple of dollars. And um, it's for probably something festive, like a wedding or something big. It's a big book, and um, and it has these pages in it that uh, not those girls. And see, this girl here can go in my Japanese book. She's a little Japanese girl with the with the parasail. Kitty cat page. This girl here. They're ballerinas. It's a ballerina. So, I have... Uh, but this book here has these type of pages in them. They've got a metal strip down the side. It's a metal, it's, it's kind of metally. Uh, it's real hard plastic. And then it has this white page. So it's not a sleeve that you can do scrapbooking in. You actually paste your photos in, in, in here. And it reminds me of a wedding memory book. You know, it's an, it's an older style before all the scrapbooking became popular, I think this was one of the things that they used to use. And uh, but I've been painting on these pages because they're real hard cardstock, and so I've been painting and gluing on these pages. And I've just showed you the back side. So now I'm going to flip it over and show you the front side. <laughs> so this is what I do. I, what I have done with this was before I started streaming. This was before YouTube. I was doing things like this. I'm moving my paint out of the way. So, um, napkin. So we're going to do just a quick flip through one of my old books here. See, this is the front of the, front of the book. And I just, uh, uh, it was supposed to, uh, I guess you could put your name there or whatever in your, you know, your photo album book. And I left that and I might, you know, I might put a tag there or something. I might, I might do something special. Okay, can you see now? There we go. That's not too shabby. Not too shabby. And here is the two girls. Now, <clears throat> I have a book in my cupboard over here. And it's a, it's a Courier and Ives book. And that's what this sticker reminded me of. So I thought I would try to put her in here somewhere. Because I could put her right here. But she looks so much like this one ballerina. And and it's a Curier and Ives. Uh, and I fussy cut it out and put it down in this book. And then this, these big leaves were, were um, wallpaper books that I cut out. And then I did, I did a claw or a, you know, I did my background in blue, three or four different shades of blue. And then this little, this little triangle shape is the end of a sponge. That's what gave it the design. And then I found another wallpaper book that had all these little roses. So I decorated them all, and they and these girls have those little those little clackers in their hands. Uh, oh, what are they called? Something nets, et, et, e t t e, classic chess and 
clapping at you can I know it's right on the tip of my tongue uh, the little clicky things and they make new noise when you dance castanets it's a musical instrument thank you girls I was so close <laughs> So anyway, when I saw this sticker, I said, oh, I got to find this white book. And I've said it several times. So I think she'll fit right here nicely. So I'm going to put my sticker down here. And this was before I dated. This is before I started dating things. This was pre-YouTube. So here's, here's another thing that I did. This was um, a silhouette, Dare to be Different. And I was inspired on YouTube or Google or somewhere. Uh, I saw something similar to this. And I decided I wanted to do, to do it. So I got my, my catalog, my, uh, the women's catalog. And I found four girls that were modeling their clothes okay so i glued the i put the paper the 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 catalog paper on top of the black and fessy cut the girls out and then i took the paper away and i got their silhouettes i love doing this i loved i love doing this and then the background is nothing but tissue paper you know like stained glass and this came out of the Cur curier and ives book and I, I can get that out sometime if you all want to see those pictures. There's a ton of pictures in there. And it's a big book. It's, it's, it's a big book. And this is uh, uh, this was taken from Know It Art. She's an artist on YouTube. And I should write her name on there because I do remember her name. But her name is Know It Art. And she lives in new europe somewhere i thought she was from greece but someone else said she was from somewhere else and i can't remember where that is and who it was so thank you teresa <laughs> but anyway this was this was some q-tips these are made out of q-tips she's in israel thank you yes she is and i love her style i subscribe to her uh, I love her style of artwork, and uh, but this is the silver, gold, copper, and bronze colors. And she did little, little. She did four little pictures, and I did mine in here. So uh, I love it. Just love it. I'll write her name on here. Inspired by. <laughs> And I put tissue paper down on the background. It was white tissue paper. And that's where I got the wrinkly from. And then I glued the Q-tips down. And then I painted and I divided it by four. So that's how I got that. This is not going to work. Okay, that'll help. But this was pre-YouTube. And then this was a, a coloring page. And I cut it up. And the tail is over here of the coloring page. And the face is over here. And I cut the page apart. And I put the words over here. And, and the other coloring parts randomly. And then I connected it myself with paint and stuff and and this is uh, nothing but paper towel on the background and then I went crazy with her hair but she was fun to do I still really it's really it's really not finished because I never did finish coloring the rest of that in And this is called My Favorite Song, My Favorite Song, 
And I did a background of pink and gray. I painted it all gray. And then I, I did uh, dots. Uh, it, it must have been a stencil because I think it was a stencil or might have been bubble wrap with all the dots. And uh, and then I tore some music paper up, inked the edges, and then glued the, the, the music paper down. And then I printed out my favorite song, and I tore the lines, I tore it up and inked the edges of it, and I downloaded it. And here's where I downloaded it. And you can you can download this on on your on YouTube and listen to it too. And it's it's my favorite song, and it's Jeremiah 2911, for I know the plans I have for you. And it's sung by a, a, a group called Lord Song. Lord Song is the name of the group that I love this uh, that I love this for. I have never heard anybody else sing it. And uh, and and these are the lyrics to the song, and then I then I stenciled uh, music notes around it, and I just used these music notes the other day on something that we did. They're little stamps that I have, and this was in the Courier and Ives book, and it's called The Favorite Cat. It's a famous painting from Courier and Ives, and that's what this book was it was all, all of their paintings they were two guys courier and ives the two different guys and they they um you know they they were famous in their paintings this was a t-shirt and uh this was these were cats off of a t-shirt and i fussy cut them out and i put them on kind of on in front of a fence this is like a fence shadowed in the background so this was a t-shirt <laughs> this is scrapbook paper and um this is a coffee edition uh paper book that i have up here and this these are like coffee beans and coffee uh drips of paper and it says life is big hugs life is meant life is meant for big hugs great friends and grand adventures is the, is what it says stop talking good night becky i'm listening to joycey right now please read chat i'm sorry Oh, you missed the chat, the prompts. It was Spanish, Casanets. Cheryl wanted me, okay. I'm in my own little world. <laughs> so add a quote. Are you there, Becky? Are you there, honey? Add a quote to paint. Paint or drip and spray. And add tape and doodle. Were the prompts. Did I get everything you wanted? Am I good to go? Good night, Becky. Am I okay now? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you, Becky. All right. Am I okay, Cheryl? I'm bad girl sometimes. I'm bad. Use is welcome. Thank you. Thanks for helping me. Listen, I 
depend on you girls to help me. I don't get mad. I don't get mad when you when you tell me tell me to stop. Forgot the tape. See the posted. Okay. You forgot to put the tape on. I remembered my tape. I put my tape on. Okay. Which Curier and Ives? Okay, it's a big book that I have over here. I'll get it. I'll get it right out. I'll get it out. I know where it is. Here is Rebecca's kitty cat. You did good, Rebecca. In her Medicare book. Now, I hope you realize that, that I hope that you are reading this Medicare stuff so that you'll know what it says so that when you retire you can sh you can teach us all about medicare here is cheryl's and all at once summer, summer collapsed into fall how cute is that here's cheryl's and she did a tree and flowers and grass good job That's fine, Rebecca. You can do it. Yeah, you can only use a pen. I I used a magic marker. I mean, I did the background, but I only used a magic marker. That's good. Oh, here's Teresa's. Oh, I need to post that. I need to post it. Are we going to still do it? It's 8 o'clock. I better get busy. Let me post... Um, that picture I'll post both pictures let's see I need to write something add a photo I'm going to add the cat and the girl I'll go ahead and post them okay so um Anyway, I've only got just a few more pages left in here. This one's all painted and ready to go. Um, this is just uh, napkin art and paper. It's nautical. I did this. I did this online one night. I think I did this in um, in one of my earliest streams. I think it's, there's a picture of it. And it's just a nautical. I used Q-tips. And and this is, came out of my bling box. And a tassel. And it looks like a compass. Directional art. And then that's all that's in this book. So I do have. I do have. Uh, two, four, six, eight. I got ten more pages I can do in this book. Nancy, just in time, honey. <laughs> We're just in time. We're starting another another project. Let me get my Courier and Ives book out and show you. It's big. It's so big, I have to keep it with my wallpaper book. And it's heavier than my wallpaper books. <clears throat> Maybe I can find a girl in here for our pa painting. You remember when I did the compass, Rose? You've been with me all along, Suzanne. <laughs> well, I'm glad you finally got to us, Nancy. Oh, Rebecca. Okay. Well, see, you should know every. You should know all about it now. <laughs> Medical coverage. Yeah, Joe's on it too, and I. It all confuses me. 
Yeah, it's been a year. It's been about six, a year and a half now since I've been been. Uh, been but this is the uh, the great book of Curier Knives, and uh, it's a big book. It's a big book. Let's see how big it is. So it's about 14, 15 by 12. Uh-huh. It's a big book. I'm not going to stay long in it. Just a few, just for a few minutes. But Curia and Eyes did a lot of paintings. And this is a history of all of their paintings. And I got the book uh, from the secondhand store. Probably paid $4 for it. Don't remember. But all of these pictures, I wanted to do use them in my art. And uh, so you can see... There's a lot, a lot, a lot of things to look at in this book. I should get a few pictures out of it tonight. And see the fireman? I used the other one here. There was another fireman, and I used it in um, in the icy scene in the reverse collage last winter where the guy was had the water hose making the ice rink for the skater. <laughs> That's where I got the, the fireman from. And a lot of history. Uh, a lot of these pictures are history, and they and they are all they all have titles on the on the bottom down here. But these were paintings that Curier and I did in their lifespan, in their whole lifetime, and uh, so there's a lot a lot of pictures in here, and I've taken a few out, quite a few of them out, and you can look these these. Uh, this is all real history. Well, shipping is probably, Suzanne, this book is heavier than a wallpaper book. So you better check the shipping first. The shipping is what's going to cost to mail this if you order it. I mean, the shipping might be 50 bucks is what I'm saying. Yeah. So, yeah, it's a great book. And, I and you know, I want, I want to. I wanted it to use Joe. Joe wanted he adopted the book, and he wanted to keep the book. And I wanted to tear it up, and it laid in the living room for about ten months. And I said it's going to the art room. So there it is. He never touched it in ten ten months over a year. I said that's it. So anyway, these are all real real life events. Uh, the inauguration of Washington and stuff like that. That's when they lit. That's where they were. They were alive then, and some of the battles and Benjamin Franklin. So some of these pictures are really really cool, and uh, there's a lot of them in here. And here's when Abe Lincoln died. Oh, I should send this to to Dee Dee. <laughs> <coughs> she was she watched a video. Uh, not too long ago, uh, and it was on the history of Washington, of uh, Abraham Lincoln when he passed away. Okay, Teresa, are you saying that the shipping is three ninety nine, and the book is a dollar forty seven? Is that what you're saying, Suzanne? So anyway, uh, that's where I got those two palerinas from. <laughs> And I'm looking for a lady now. If I could find a lady that look, would look good in the trees, I will put her in the picture of the fall The fall that I'm getting ready to do. Are you serious? It's worth it. If it's, if it's only $5.50, I say get it. $5.50 and they mail it to your door, it's heavier, it's heavier than I'll get out. Is it the same one though? Is it the same? Is it the same? Uh, the Great Book of Courier and Ives America. Is it the same book? I'm looking to see. Uh, looks like there's a coin there.
the author. I found a quarter in the in the base of it. It's a 1984 quarter. It got stuck down in the bottom of the the folder, but it's a really cool book. I mean, look at the it's like a it's like material. It's like a quilt. I'm telling you, this book is the heaviest thing I've ever hit lifted. It's heavy. If I can get Joe in here. Hey, Joe. <whistles> he might be outside. And this is the front of it. It's a beautiful book. So, uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Hop on that deal. But um, but anyway, I love the pictures in it. And I'm looking for a woman. I'm going to thumb through and see, I see, see if I can find a woman that I can do uh, about, that, about that size. But look at these beautiful pictures. And, and they're... they're um, you know, the realistic type things. This is all the hunting section. And the camping section. Let's see if I can find a woman. I'd love to find one in blue. Hey, Joe. He must have gone back outside. I'm going to have him take this into the bathroom and weigh it. This is the marriage. And this is the young housekeepers a year after marriage. The lovers quarrel, the lovers reconciliation, four seasons. But they were very detailed in their artwork, <clears throat> paintings. These were all paintings. A lot of political things in here, too. There's a lot of political stuff. A lot of trains. A lot of uh, uh, Native America. Indians. Calvary. It was realistic uh, life events. Steamboats. Indians. And this is probably about the time when photography was starting up. But they were very detailed in, in some of their, uh, you know, their, their, this is the Robert E. Lee. They were very detailed. You know, you can see underneath. This is this is what I would call urban sketching, <laughs> like not like uh, Mary, real urban sketching. She would get a kick out of this, but uh, I have to, I hate I hate I hate to say it, but I I got it to use to tear to tear up. But I'd like to have a woman in in blue like her. <laughs> She's the only one I've seen that I would use. And this was the big fire, of, I think, of San Francisco. There was a big fire somewhere. A lot of top hats, carriages. Beautiful. But I don't see any more women... I 
I could use that other sticker. She was in blue. All the presidents, the armies. Important people, ships. They did a lot of advertising stuff too. And of course, these are very popular. All of the four seasons of these things. They ha you remember seeing all four of the seasons of the same picture? <clears throat> they did a lot of that. I don't see any more women. Okay. It's either her. And I just shut this book up. I just shut it. I could use one of these girls, but that's not the same as the blue girl. I did have, just in my possession the other day, but I couldn't tell you where I found, I saw that. I'll have to, I'll just have to paint it. Hi, Joy. Cheryl got some pinking shears. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to move on now. <clears throat> we played long enough. I couldn't find any women. By themselves without them kissing somebody. The Bloomer costume. Okay. Anyway, oh, I'm putting it up, and it's heavy. Oh, I'm going to go weigh it. <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm telling you, it's heavy. It'd break a toe if, it, if I dropped it. It would break a toe. Mm -hmm. I think it weighs 10 pounds. 10 pounds and 2 ounces. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, I'm going to paint. Everybody okay? Yeah, my pinking shears were expensive. When I bought my pinking shears, they were about $30. For just fabric. Okay, so we're going to do this girl. We're going to paint her. Phew, I'm out of breath now. 
So let me put my paper protection underneath there. Okay. And it's, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to paint blue first. I'm going to paint the background first. And we'll put down a little bit of gesso. Okay. Everybody okay? Hi, Jane. Happy Saturday. This is my background. I have to remember this for that Van Gogh. This would look good on the background of the Van Gogh. <laughs> and do all the little swirlies. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that should do enough. Yeah, you can use, you can try the uh, tin foil. I've tried it on some of my scissors. But I got Joe. He takes them out and uses them on the buffer. Hi, Susan. We're painting a picture. I'm going to dry this. Move my camera back down here. Yeah, on your punches too. Yeah. It sort of takes off any gooey stuff. Joyce's dinner time. <clears throat> okay, Joyce, have a nice dinner. <clears throat> Thanks for hanging out with me. Keeping me in line. And I, can't, I think I bought my pink and cheers at Hobby Lobby, so I might have used a coupon. I had I bought them a long time ago, so I don't remember. So the next colors I'm going to use, I think, are going to be um, is the trees, and 
And I'm just going to use uh, some brown for the trees. And uh, of course, I got all the oranges for the leaves. All oranges are allowed to come out for the leaves. Different shades of oranges. And um, of course, yellow. Might need to go down under and get me some more yellows. And there is a little bit of uh, this color green. Green, purple, and blue in the uh, sky or in through the tree, tree. And purple and a little bit of white uh, down the end of the path. That's about it. Paint trays are wet, but I got another one over here. So that's all right. There's some more brown. I think it's empty. It is. It's empty. I'm going to have to get me go down under and get me some paint. Get me some paint out. Because these are empty. Okay, so I'm going to use um, a, round, uh, a round brush, all-purpose round brush. And I'm going to start with, uh, I think I need to start with some oranges. Uh, and then I, I'll do a layer of oranges and trees and things. And then I can do... Um, the trees on top of that and then add more orange. We'll start off with that first. Just for fun. And I'm just going to do the way I did it uh, the other day when we did the truck. And sporadically do leaves all the way down, pretty much. And I will be doing layers.
Okay. I'm in the zone. Everybody okay? Everybody doing all right? Okay. So now I'm going to go into the brown. <laughs> okay, Cheryl's going to take a break. I'm going to have to dry this first before I add the brown. Almost dry. I put the paint on thick. So let me just uh, put in a few trees. There's one on this side. This paint is
And all you see is see, all you see is them going up. Something like that. All right. That looks pretty good. They're look they're getting smaller in the background. And I'm going to put some more leaves on top of this. And I'm going to put a little bit of white in the middle. Okay. I'm going to dry this. I think I can probably put a little bit more, uh, a little bit of blue to my road. I want a little bit of. different shade of blue because this is where my girl's going to go and there's some highlightings there and there'll be some leaves on the ground and there'll be a little bit of purple in there and there's a little bit of purple in this up in the trees Just a drop.
it'll show through somewhere in here. It's, it's purple. There's some purple and then there's some green. So I can go ahead and put my green in too. Highlights. You all still talking about scissors? Okay, just a little hint. I'm going to dry this. I don't think I need these anymore. Yeah. What you doing, baby? What? He's talking to me and I can't hear a word he's saying. I got a fan on. Uh -huh. I said I got this fan on and I had the hair dryer going. Sandra Patil is on uh, Kids Edition of ABC. Oh. Telling you about the vaccine and what Sandra Lee. Mm -hmm. She ain't changed a bit. She's cute, but and she's she's mm -hmm. uh, part Chinese. Well, she is. I thought she was Filipino, but she's. I thought uh, she was Indian. But but that's over in that area, Asia. She's in Asia. Uh, I don't know what her parents uh, mm -hmm. are, but she's she said said so on one of her shows. Okay, so we'll let that dry real good. And I'm going to go downstairs. I have to go downstairs and look for some more yellow. Downstairs. Yeah. I mean, we don't have a basement here. <laughs> my basement is under my table. You got to scoop it out. Scoop it. I got to go under. Down under. Oh, I got some puppy paint too. That'll work. Danger, 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 danger. <laughs> Danger. It's an elevator. Joe, honey, thank you. I work too. Paint down here. I'll never get to use it all. I think I. I, I'm not allowed to buy any more paint until I use this up. You, I got three drawers of it down Are here. you telling yourself this or are yes. you telling me this? Well, you bought me some paint not too long ago. Oh, I know. <laughs> and I have this to use, so we're going to use them. Use them or lose them. Well, that's true. It's set up. Let's see what's in the yellow. 
Not a white. What else did I throw away? I threw out the black. I threw out the brown. It's brown. Where do you want to go out? Oh, that's a good work. You want to take Nora out? Go to the bathroom? Okay. Sure, Dad. Let's go. Come on. Go. Okay. That's all I got for now. Tired of digging. But I got three drawers of paint down there. So I'm glad I found the white. I'm out of the white. This white's not too much left. It's watered down. And this is gray. I do have one gray up here. And I don't know if how much is in it. Not a whole lot. It's really, really empty. So this will be great. So this will be the new gray. And this will be the new black. And I've used this one. And I got this one. And I got some gold. This would look good for our sun. Our sunshine. So, yeah. Yes. Yes. Ooh, it's it's soupy. It's a soupy paint. So I'm spreading the paint. It's soupy, but it's going to be fine. It's just like glitter glue, if you ask me. Okay, I'm, it's coming along. You'll see. It's perfect. You'll see it's going to be great. We'll dry it. Perfect. That's just one layer. <laughs> one layer. Let's get some more layers. I know. In the picture, um, yes, one one is puppy paint on purpose. Uh, in the picture, uh, I don't know if you can see it real good yet, but um, here's a good picture of it. Here's a good. You see the um, the yellow is put on with a palette knife, and it's real textury. And you can see the texture on the canvas. So my thought is to put, to make it lumpy, to, to give the paint thick, leave it on thick. So glycerin would um, make it thinner. I don't want it thinner. I want it thicker. It's coming. I'm not finished.
Hang on. So, uh, so this is the this is the picture I'm doing. I, I did post it in my Facebook page. If you want to go see it. And um, I'm doing the background, the trees. I've got another layer of trees, of leaves to do yet. I wanted to get some of that. There's a little bit of purple and blue in the background. I need to add a little bit more blue back up in there, but we'll see. It's just the way it's going to be. So uh, I was trying to get some of these going and get it dried real good. And then I'm going to start painting the girl. And she is, she's going to be easy to do. I'm just going to say that and make it easy. It's going to be easy. So she's going to be down here on the floor. And she's got some black in her dress, blue, a little bit of white. And her black hair. So I am going to be needing this black. Yeah, you could use a credit card, Cheryl. Yeah, or a palette knife. I'm just using my brush and putting it on thick. Use a credit card. I'll try a credit card. Then I will. I'll try a credit card in a minute. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my little paintbrush and this palette is almost dry. I'm gonna use it and put some of these blues out. Don't want that one. I want this one. And I want some black. So uh, her hair. Is like. Reminds me of that. China doll that we did. And then there's the blue dress. And I am going to put some white out. And I'm going to mix my blue up with a little bit of white. So I got the same value of blue, but it's it's a light blue. But it is definitely in the same value family. And I'm going to um, paint my road a little bit with this wider, lighter blue. So that when I paint on top of the blue, her dress will show up.
because her dress is going to really kind of go on top of this. We'll see how it works out. I'm sure it'll be fine. So now I want to finish finish her her blue dress. I'm just kind of painting what I see. And it will be fun if I put a little bit of purple in her in the paint. To give it the purpley blue and it will highlight some of the streaks and folds in her dress. And again, it's the same value of blue because I'm using the same dark blue. And then down here where her dress ends, I'm going to add some black. And the, her hair, I've got to go over her hair again. Um, this black is not good enough. I've got to get another black. It's watered down, and I want some full black. Full strength. I need full strength. And this is this black has got a little bit of a gray tint to it. Okay, I like that. And then I need some beige. Beige, beige, beige. For her um, arms. And okay, good, good, good. So I need some black, some more black for my um, 
dark side of the skirt. Guys, I am totally loving what I'm doing. I don't know if you can see what I have done. But I'm picking it out of this picture. Loving it. Totally loving it. Thank you, Barbara. Did you post it? Something? Okay. You can find your prompt game with your painting. We well, see, I started to do that. I saw that I saw yours. Okay. I'll look again at it, Teresa. Uh I did I did look at it already, I think. Yes, Teresa. I did. I do love your girl. Yes. Okay, I'm going to. I'm going to. She's got a little. Um, uh, a bow on the back of her dress. A belt and I'm thinking I might need to let it dry because I've got the black <clears throat> wet black there Oh, yeah, your tape. Yeah. That's what I did, Teresa. I did a border. Wait a minute, and I'll show you my other one. I used it as a border around my cat. I didn't do the top part because I had my, my quote up there. But I, I used it as the bottom, around the bottom. And it was a just a, it's a gold and white crackle, looked like crackle paint. That's what I did. Okay, I'm winding down, girls. It won't be long and I'll be finished with this. And then we can do our turkey roll. <laughs> Every time I say turkey roll, I think of food. <laughs> I do. I think of food. Okay, so I'm going to try to finish her bow.
Step away from the pain. Okay, I need her bow. <laughs> you want to do the turkey roll? Okay, Cheryl, we're going to do it next. I just have a, just a few more things to do with this one. I think the girl's finished. I could do a few highlights. And my highlights are going to be in our hair. Like that. Perfect. And a little bit in our dress. Just a little something there. Okay. I like that. Now I'm going to use my puffy paint and continue with my streaks. This puffy paint's old too. So I want to use it or lose it. I want to use it. So I'm just going to do streaks, maybe. There might not be anything in it. I think I'm going to have to resort to um, a credit card. Because the puffy paint's thick. And that's fine. It's not hurt. I mean, it's okay what I just did. But I'm going to I'm going to put it on with a credit card, like Cheryl said. Just do what Cheryl says, and you'll be good. It'll be safe. So there's that. Can you see my paint? Yep. And I do happen to have a credit card right here. So I'm going to dip my card in the pack, the puffy paint, and kind of really maybe scoop it up a little bit and see if I can't get it to go down and make uh, heavy heavy marks can't tell yet all right now I'm going to try doing it with a um, a spatula uh, a spackle uh, one of these things. Because I'm really trying to get a lot of texture down. Look, I'm using my non-dominant hand. <laughs> I 
But you didn't know I was so talented, huh? Can you tell? Okay, I think I'm going to quit. I think it looks great. Okay, time for the green chair. I understand. I'm using some of that other yellow that I had and it's giving it a, it's a lighter yellow and I'm mixing it in. Okay, I think we are done. I think we are. I just need to, I wanted to do a little bit more of the orange. Just, just a tad more orange with the little brush. on top of those bigger leaves. And I can use up the rest of my orange paint. I think that she's my little blue girl is celebrating fall. So, okay, what do you think? I'm thinking this transition needs to be a little lighter. I've got some, I still have some blue on my palette. So I'm just going to fade it out to a lighter blue. And, and mix this and blend this up in here together. So that it's not so sharp.
like that. I like that. Okay. And the same thing with the sides of the, I'm going to feather it out from the sides of the rays and mix a little bit more white with that. to uh, blend it out. That might be all right. Okay. My autumn, my autumn girl, turkey time. Okay, turkey time. Sign it and be done with her. Sign it and be done. Eleven fourteen. Okie dokie. I got the texture going. Gobble gobble time. That's right. We're going to we're going to gobble gobble. I think it looks okay. I think I I think I captured I captured most of her. This was the original. And this is mine. I think it did all right. And this one's mine. She's going, yay, fall. <laughs> I'm going to let her dry. She's got a lot of paint on her. Okay, here we go. Turkey, turkey. <clears throat> and I've got all this paint, this paint left over. So, you know, hey, <laughs> thank you, Jane. So we're going to do, uh, do you want to try that other, that other, um, we haven't tried this one yet. So let's try this one now, tonight, and see how it is. Just for, just for giggles. Just for giggles. So let's see, where's my dies? I just need one die. Put up some of my paint and use, if I have to, I'll use the paint that I've already got out. we got some new orange. We can use this on our turkey. So anyway, we've got the head, body, wings, face, feet, and feathers. So, the wings and then the feathers. Woohoo! This is going to be a different turkey. So, let's start off with I'm going, to, I'm going to try to go fast so that if we finish this up by 10 o'clock, then we can get the Japanese book out. Yay! <laughs> All right. The first number is one. One is a circle for the head. You want me to go ahead and roll for the body, too, so that you'll know how big to put the body? Want to do the head and the body together? Since we're this is new. So the head's going to be a circle. And I'll roll for the body. And the body is going to be a two. So it's a teardrop. 
the head is a circle and the body is a teardrop. I think that'll be easy to uh, to do. I'm just going to use my leftover paint. Waste not, want not. Got all this brown over here. Let's see if I can use it. There's my teardrop. And here's my head. I feel like this is a first graders. <laughs> This is like first graders art. <laughs> We're reverting back to our childhood. She needs a story. Hi, Mina. <laughs> so, um, this might go faster than I thought. Uh, so then we're going to do the wings, her wings. I haven't done this one before, so it's going to take me a while to get used to it. So I'm going to roll for the wings. And it's a five. And her wings are like an upside down crown. The wings are... are like like that one going that way and one going that way so uh so i'm going to go like this and like this and then i'm going to do straight down the sides and then I can do the spikes like that Okay. The wings. Okay, I like that. Tweet, tweet. <laughs> okay. Okay, got the wings. So, um, who else is play who else is playing? Mina, are you drawing this turkey? The number is four. And these are the eyes. Oh, these are gonna be <laughs> Barb and Mina. Okay, good. Cheryl and Teresa. Okay. So these are the eyes. Okay, we've got it's kind of like what we did the other night we got two circles and then we have a triangle for the beak and then another teardrop for the gobbler the blue eyes and their crazy eyes right there one eye looking up one eye looking down 
with a beak and a gobbler, a teardrop gobbler. Have you got it? I can show it to you again in a minute. So I'm going to use another brush. And I'm going to try this purple. So we got two eyes. Wow. Can you believe I did that circle free-handed? Surprised myself. Two of them in a row. Whew. Wow. Okay. So then we need a a a beak. And we need an eye going down. <coughs> and then we need a a gobbler. Wow. I can't believe I did that. Okay. Yeah, the head is uh the head is a circle and the body is a teardrop. Oh, I'm going to need to write the numbers down. And this is a different um, book that we're playing in. A different, uh, a diff this is a wacky turkey. Roll a wacky turkey. So we got circle, teardrop, one, two, five, uh, four for the eyes. So we did uh, this one for the eyes. Anybody need any help? Anybody okay? Just run right over and help you. <laughs> I wish I could. <laughs> I wish I could. Wouldn't that be neat if we could do a a face-to-face -face workshop every week? Ooh. Would love it.
Okay. Wouldn't we have fun? That would be a that would be a dream, wouldn't it? It would be a dream. Okay, so I'm going to roll for the next one. And the next one is the feet. We did the head, the body, the wings, and the face. Now we're going to do the feet. And the feet is going to be a six. And number six is a pair of boots. <laughs> pair of boots. Yep, we got a pair of boots. So. Let's see what I can do with the boot department. I think there are snow boots. I'm coloring in my boots. So there's that. And I'm going to add some white to the top of the boots. Because they look like Santa boots. You're right. like that okay
Okay. So now we need, we got arms and legs. Now we're going to do tail feathers. He needs hair. <laughs> That's right. Well, maybe we, we can get some help with his um, tail feathers. We'll help that. Let's see what kind of tail feathers we get. We don't know. We don't know. We might get something that goes up that away. Might have to give him a couple of spikes. <laughs> there. But he is kind of looking Christmassy. <laughs> Maybe he won't be caught until after Thanksgiving. Number two. Oh gosh, you guys. It's a light bulb. It's a light bulb. That's his tail feathers. Now we got to be put our creative hat on and be creative. Let's see. Well, can we be creative? I want to use uh I can use this green. So it's a light bulb, guys. Hmm. I'm going to be real creative. I'm being real creative. He's going to look like he's got wings or something. <laughs> I'm a trying.
I'm putting tail feathers on my turkey. Oh. What do you think? You bring me some tea. Mm -hmm. I'll drink that other one if you sit over there in the bedroom by my bed. Do you want me to do that? Yep. Okay. Thank you. Tea bag in there. Okay. You brought me a cup of tea. He waits on me all day long. Um, easy keeper. So how's that? How's my tail feathers doing? <laughs> Should I put the light bulb part in it? Um, that has the. Uh, it has one of these. And then it has uh, two little thingy dingies. There's my there's my there's my chicken feathers. Oh, red boots, cute, Cheryl. Red boots would be really cute. Good, good thinking. Good thinking. Okay. I'll give him some chest chest feathers chesty feathers What do you think? I think he's looking cute. I didn't think it was going to be this cute. I really didn't. It was, it was, it was, I'll try it, but I'm not going to hold my breath. I did not hold my breath. And I think I'll put some feathers on his head. Okay. Teresa put hers on a tag to get it posted. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, you gave him ears. Oh, I like ball beers. <laughs> He's cute. I like his tail feathers, too. There you go, Teresa. That's good. You did cute. Here's Jan's. Oh, Jane, you did good, honey. Oh, he's thinking. He looks like he's thinking. This is Julie Parker's uh, page from this morning. She went to church. I love it, Julie. I don't know if she's in here now or not, but she did good. I like to do Bible verses, too. And this was Cheryl's fractured cat from Thursday. Okay. Good job. Let's see what Joe's got in the cup. He brought me my... Ooh, it's hot. Nice little cup of tea that says all natural tea. All right. It's hot. I'm going to let it cool down a minute. Okay, so we did our turkey roll. And I really would like to do the background. I got four minutes to do the background. Because I said 10 o'clock. We'll start our uh, a little bit of Japanese something tether. Make a fall background. And I have been thinking about angels. Um, we will be doing some angels. Probably um, <clears throat> the end of the month, we'll start doing some Christmas angels. So I need to write down my numbers, the rest of my numbers. Okay, I think I'm done with that. Okay, that looks good. It was four. Let's see, we did four, and then we did six and two. Okay. They're sparkles. Okay. I know you can't see them in the picture, but they're awesome. Okay. Your background's done with watercolor gel crayons with sparkles. Okay. Very good. So. Shall I date it? 
I, I, I don't know if I've been dating him or not. Okay. Signed. Take a picture. And right on time. It's 10 o'clock on the dot. Woohoo! I'm going to let this over and dry. We did our first wacky, wacky, wacky turkey, and it's not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. And I did find, I did find a oriental sticker in here. So let's see if I can find it again. Let's see if I can find it. She would have had a carousel umbrella. She had a little umbrella. There she is. Close, close enough. So we're going to make some uh, maps. I got some mapping paper of Japan. And I thought that would be cute. Oh, she'll look good right here on the front page, guys. And I'm going to, I'm going to make, um, I'm going to use these papers, Teresa. She's going to look really nice right here. Love it. Perfect. I just love when things turn out perfectly. Hi, Melissa. I'm changing my room around. Okay. <laughs> so, what I need to do here is... Um, I, I have some of this... This, uh, this is tissue paper, but it's... It's, uh, it's thicker than tissue paper, but it's thinner than copy paper. And I thought this might make a good origami doll. And I thought that this would look okay to be her cape. So I'm going to make, uh, make a cape. And I thought they would look good on this with this paper, both of these. So that was my thought on that. And they're little, they will be little ones. They won't be real. I can make them long, but they'll be little girls, not big ones. I have to make little ones. So I thought these two papers would look good with this paper. And I can use this for the bottom of the skirt. So that means this will be probably too two girls. And then some of this paper I can put in, in my book and, and cover a couple pages. I'm going to have to glue this one down. coming off so anyway I thought I'd make two girls out of this and I've got these girls down pat I can I can whip them out fast well I do have a hole puncher To uh, punch her, punch their heads out. Let's see if I can do this. I think that's too big. I think that's too big of a head. We will just. Uh, I can go ahead and put them out, but I can. Uh, I think I need to cut them down.
I can use them for something else. Two and a half is just too big. Okay, Sharon. <laughs> yeah, this is like a deli paper size. Yeah, Altresa, I think it is. Well, that's okay, Melissa. You don't have to be sorry. We just like for you to be here. <laughs> you, Melissa, you don't have to do the art. You can watch. A lot of the girls watch. Miss Buddy, a lot of the girls watch. There's Janice. There's Julie's. There's Cheryl's. Sharon said she posted a turkey. Come on, Sharon, get up here. Did you click post? <laughs> I hate it when I do that. I'm, I get ready to post something, but I don't hit the last button to post it. I don't see it. Sharon, send it to me again. Of course, it does have to go all the way across the United States to get to me. Isn't that amazing? See if this is ready now. Mmm, that's good. Slurp. Okay, I can't find it. I'm looking. I'm still looking. I'm refreshing again. Sharon, I don't see it. Let me check. Let me search your name. I don't have anything for today's date. I got the the other one. You did this the other day. I couldn't find it either. Sharon hit the po hit the post button. <laughs> I do it all the time. I get in my messaging my messengers and I'll type my message and then I go to another another name and I did not hit the blue button to post it. <laughs> I do it all the time. Sorry, Sharon. Can't find it. They're dated. That was the 12th. I need something from the... ...14th.
Yeah, I got yours. Uh, I got yours, Jan. I got Jan's. If this this was her, your turkey. There she comes. Here she comes. She just now did it. She did it again. She forgot to push the button. <laughs> oh, he looks very festive. Oh. Sharon, you can draw real good. You're very good at that. Did a little doodling and everything. He looks happy. Thanks, Sharon. <laughs> wow. That's cool. Okay, so um, I'm going to save these for something else, and I'm going to make me another head. Actually, I think I've got some already made up. Let's just see what we got in the old box over here. Got another box that has... All my little doll stuff in it. Let's see if I can find another head. Let's see. We want to use this for the dress, and we want to use these for the the jacket. And I've got neck uh, collar collars collars. I got little necky things too somewhere here. There they are. Got those. And this is for later. So we got the necks, the dress, and the jackets. And I'm just looking for heads. And I do think I have to cut some out. I don't think I have any more. I used them. I used them. But I do have some more to make. I've got another dress. Oh, I did this this uh, yesterday. i got to put some hair on her. And this one needs hair. A bun. I made up some heads with buns. Yeah, i got some buns already made up. That's what I got. That's what I got. Got a bunch of little stuff like that. There we go. So, this is all my little parts and bangs. Okay, so we need uh, two of these. And then I've got to add some more cute uh, toothpicks for their hair. So I glue their the buns on. And then um, I can decide what color toothpicks. I'll put the bangs on last. Because uh, this will be first. These are these are first. I make a V. I got the head and the neck. I make a V and I glue this down first. And then I could put the dress on. Gotta get the dress ready. I'll make two at a time. See how fast I can go with these now. Man, I'm pushing them out like hotcakes. Pushing them out like hotcakes. Ooh, I've got a craving for, for pancakes. <laughs> yeah, buns. They're hair buns. Yep. So 
then I get to do the dress. I fold it down this way and then I fold it back for the collar to get the shirt collar made up. And then I uh, I probably ought to use my glue stick for this paper because it's so thin. And I'm going to fold it into thirds. Excuse me. Open it back up. Then I'm going to put the uh, onto the. I've been calling it the turtleneck. And then I fold it down to another V. And I fold this one up. And I've been trimming this. And folding this down to a V and then this one goes up like that can't really describe it it's just the way we do it and then we get to put the cape on and the cape has to have glue down the middle and it goes on the back of the the dress so you can see the the call the turtleneck the dress and then the cape you can see the three different lines there and then this is another v net another v again v's down and we glue this down This is her little cape. And then we do this side too. And we make another V. The last V. And we glue that down. So there she is. And then we get to make her hair. And make her, make her bun decorations. And her bows and if you want to turn this one up a little bit for to make it cute see it kind of looks cute when it's done that way it's just cute okay so we want to go ahead and do this one and her dress down the middle and we lay it on the back of this one and we make a V and we fold her sleeve up we make another V and fold her sleeve up. Like that. And I guess I didn't glue that on there very good. Or did I glue it on at all? Don't know. I must have been glued. It just came apart. 
but it's okay. We can put it back. And now her K. Here's her K. Got the three the three little collars back there. And then this one Oh, this paper is really hard. It's cardstock, and it's really hard to use. The thinner paper is better, but that's okay. We did it. So I used up those painty papers, and I put her head on backwards. But no harm done. <laughs> we'll take it off again. Uh, let's put her head on right. Let's get our head on right. How about that? How about there? That's better. So there's our girl. So we can work on her um, her bangs. Let's see. I need another one of these. Everybody doing okay? <laughs> I think Cheryl is, uh, is she, are you laying down? Okay, I, I could, I need to go in there and see if I got any stuff for pancakes. Oh, she's using too much paint. Things are falling. Uh-oh. Clean up on Al Cheryl. <laughs> Cheryl needs a clean up. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> before I put her bangs on her, I'm going to uh, make her, her hair in the back. Uh, we, can, we can give him, make a circle. Uh, do a and and leave her bun. Let her bun be up. We don't have to ha let her have uh, long hair. She could have short hair. Put it all up in a bun. I'll try one. I'll try one. I've never made one like this. So she's going to have hair like that in the back. Now I want to uh, put her put her <clears throat> her toothpicks on. I could lose a blue a blue toothpick. The collar already collared, and I can use a this collar toothpick for the other girl. It's a uh, It's red, but it's it's a real soft red, and it and it'll go with uh, go with her outfit. So before I put their bangs on, I get to do oh, I get to make her hair yet. Do I want to make another circle? Yeah, we can do another circle.
Okay, now let's put their toothpicks on and uh, I've got their bangs ready. And then I also like those um, little gold leaves that I that Teresa gave me and I might have to cut me some more out I don't know if I got any more down in here or not but that won't be a problem because I got more I got more these these were something that uh, Teresa gave me, and they were um, gold cardboard uh, decorations. And it's like if you had a, a glassware, you could glue these on the glassware for your for the evening of your party to decorate. You know, if you were having a wedding or some or anniversary or something, and it made it look really, you know, fancy. <laughs> And I have really enjoyed these. I've used the birds and I don't, I got another bird, but I really, I use the, I'm using the, the, the leaves. This time I'm using the leaves on uh, my ladies. Never thought about putting a bird in her hair. We don't want a bird in her hair, do we? I think I'll stick with the leaves. And um, and all you have to do is cut they're they're together with uh, little cardboard strips, and all you have to do is cut those off to use the the leaves. Okay. Let's see how many leaves do I need? So the hardest part is cutting them apart. <laughs> you got to cut all the little strips off. But that's okay, you know. That's all right. No harm done. So this one's got a double leaf on it, and that'll be fine. I could put that one there. And I got another one. And here's another double leaf. So I'm going to glue those down. And then I'm going to put a, a, my uh, toothpicks. There's two more little flowers. I'm putting my little little things in here so I don't lose them. And then I can uh, string me some more thread. And these girls don't have leaves in their hair yet. So I can I can put some more leaves in their hair. So, uh, so all I need now are a glob of glue. I need a glob of glue. <laughs> Uh-oh, somebody's having computer problems. Could you just cut a circle out of black and cut it in half for bangs? Yes, you can do that, Teresa. Her, that's all the bangs are. It's just a half of a circle. Uh, my camera will let me post. Uh-oh. So anyway, I'm going to put a glob of glue, and this is where her bangs are going to go, too. 
but I need the glob of glue for her uh, hairdo, for her hairdo, because I'm going to put leaves in her hair, gold leaves, and toothpicks. And I just snap them in half. And it doesn't matter if one's longer than the other. It won't matter a bit. Because they're just going to be sticking in her hair. And I make sure the glue is on both sides of the cute toothpick. Because um, I'm laying the cute toothpick down. And it doesn't matter which way they are angled. And then when I put her bangs on, the bangs will be glued to the toothpicks too. So, kind of like that. And then I take her bangs. And I, I can put a little bit more glue on it. And lay it down. And there's a little bit of a space. But that won't hurt a thing. We're going to let that glue, let that dry. And we won't care about the little space. We're not going to worry about that little space. Because we want the uh, toothpicks. <laughs> we'll sacrifice. And there's her bangs. So the next thing I need is her is her uh, her hand decorations and her eyes. Give her a sweet little face. Can you see? And then I can show you next thing I want to do is show you how I did the beads in her, in her hair. And it was pretty simple. And then I added some more um, gold leaves to her hands, too, so they match. So she's got a little bit of bling bling on her. Oh, and I put a belt on this girl. I can still do a belt. I've got some more of that. Uh, fancy smancy ribbon I got some of it yeah it's got a little orange in the bottom of her dress so that will work this is a different one than I had before I've got some plain blue that might be pretty with the this girl. And then I have this blue. And it's kind of a blue and pink. Some of this. So what I do, actually, I just need one little piece to go up underneath her, her uh, cape. Is all I need for her belt. It's all I need. We'll just give it a shot. Nobody will know the difference. <laughs> These are built. <laughs> Only you and I'll know. <laughs> oh, you want her to hold a bird? Okay. Thanks, Cindy. Hi, honey. Oh. 
Oh, he was laughing at your tag book, Ricky, and he likes it. Well, good. It's an accomplishment, Teresa. Isn't it fun after you finish a project or it's starting to pull together now and you're adding on into it? That it that make it doesn't that make you feel good when you almost complete a project? So that's good. Okay, so let me get some more of these gold birds out. Let me get a belt on this one too. Let's get uh, some of this other out. I glued the. I shouldn't have glued the the uh, cape on, so I could. Uh, too late. Put the, put her ba belt on her. That's all right. We'll manage. I'll just put three layers on her. I'll do it. I can do it too. Nobody will know the difference. So there's her, there's her belt. Glue her back together. <laughs> Glue her back together. <laughs> Nobody will know. Nobody will ever know, but there's her belt. Okay, birds. And more leaves. Okay. Just give me a minute to cut them apart. Okay. I'm going to put a little bit of glue down somewhere right there. And I'm going to put this one down and then I'm going to put the bird down. bird down, put a leaf down, Uh, 
Okay. I got a little leaf. Don't know if I can need a leaf or not, but then I got a bow. I think that's enough. I don't think she needs another leaf. Let that dry and work on the next one. So this one needs another bird. I need a bow. Okay, there's hers. And I can go ahead and make these girls hair. Finish these girls up. Let's see what they need. They need black hair. And a bun. This one's got a real little head. So maybe I won't give her a bun, but I can give this one a bun. And I can give her her black hair. Let's see. We can give her some. So there would be her back of her head. This will be a little girl. And she will need some bangs. I'm in a zone, guys. Can you tell? <laughs> oh, a crane. You know what? I think I've got one in that, in that bird book, Janice. I think I've got a crane. Oh, I'll look. So that'll be her the back of her hair. This is a little girl. Okay, get rid of this little little stuff. Get rid of that little stuff. Don't need it. Okay. Let's see now. We're letting these two dry real good. Because of the toothpicks. I gotta let them dry real good. 
think I'm done with that. So there, uh, I'm going to put, I think the bun's too big on her hair. I'm just going to let her be, be plain. I just need to make her bangs. And the, it's fun to do their hair in different ways. I've got some girls that have the sideburns coming down. Like she's got side her side curls coming down. And uh, and I I wanted I'd like to do one, but I haven't done it yet. And and make her a ponytail that just goes down her back. That'd be cute. So this little girl won't have. Uh, the hair decorations. She'll just have a bow. And then she can hold a flower. And a, a leaf. She could even hold one of these daisies. Would she look cute with a daisy? Matches her face. Because she's got white cardboard. She's got her face painted white. Mm-hmm. It's the way the geese girls wear it. Mm-hmm. She looks like a nun. <laughs> I'll put a bow in her hair. I need to put a bow in her hair. I gotta find some color. I don't know if I've got to. I might find. Uh, look in my bow department. Where's my bows? Uh -oh. I need a something red for her because she's got a red cape. Got a well, that's pink. That won't work. I got heart, little tiny hearts. That's not gonna work. I need a red. Something in red. I got a red heart, but it's too big. It's too big. There's a little red one. Where'd it go? Bring it back. There's a little. Is that too big? Yeah, that's too big. There's a little red. Uh, I don't like that because it's got pink on it. That's a that's a reddish pinkish. That's got too much pink in it. 
I saw a little red heart. I don't know if I picked it up or not. What we do for to find the right one, what we will do to find the right one, we just go all out, don't we? Come on. There's a green bow. I've got a, a, a white of uh, silver. Maybe that'll work. It's not silver if that's the back of it. Nope, that won't work. I'm getting there. <laughs> Good night, Vanessa. <laughs> Happy everything on a budget. I learned how to fold an origami crane this week from Kate at the last homely house on YouTube. Okay. Um, I do have a bird book. It's uh, I've got several watercolor books I need to start painting in. It's this one. I've done quite a few out of this book. And this one has a crane in it. Here's a Japanese red crowned crane right there. So that's what we want in our Japanese book. It's a Japanese crane. Yeah. So let's see if I've, I don't remember painting it yet. We got out of the habit of painting all these birds. I love it. I, I can maybe even, I, maybe I can fussy cut this one out since it's in here twice. Let's see, why not? I don't think anybody would mind. I can barely see the print on this. This has got a, a pattern on it to paint, to help you paint. I'm thinking I've already painted it. Find it. I just took that book off of my shelf. I'm trying to keep all the books over here that I use currently. <laughs> Thank you, Cheryl. Did I do it with a crayon? I did. We named it Clive. We have to look up Clive in Japanese. I can make a photocopy of it. Yeah, I did. Okay, well, I'm going to put this over here to the side. And uh, we'll, we'll definitely want this in the book. 
And if I can paint it, uh, I think I should try to paint it and then fussy cut it out and then glue my fussy cut in the Japanese book because I don't really want to destroy this one. But I wouldn't mind maybe taking a, a photo of it and print it out. So, and then it's, uh, and it is in this book um, right here. But these are so pretty. I hate to, I hate to destroy those. But it's in here. There's two. There's the second one. And these are samples. Sample painting. And here it is here too. So maybe I can snip, snip this one out. It probably wouldn't take too. That way it wouldn't be too much on the back on the other side. And then I think it's in the front up here again, somewhere. Yeah, it's up here on the front. So it's in here four times. So surely I could, surely I could swipe one of these <laughs> for a good cause. It's for a good cause. Yeah, I could copy it too. Yeah, I could still copy it. But I don't. I wouldn't mind take stealing it. Robin Peter to paint Clive. <laughs> okay, I'll lay that over there beside. And I'm just looking for the perfect little doolopy for her hair. It's a silver one, but I saw a red one. Maybe it wasn't red. Was it red or pink? <sighs> I think it's pink. It was pink. So I'm going to use the silver one here. Yeah. That's the best thing I could find. For her hair unless we do something like this I could do something like that that looks kind of dorky put, put a glob of glitter glue in the middle of it here's a here's what something I think that's red enough look here a red bow oh it's perfect oh it matches her coat so well I'm giving her that one okay found it Perfect. Perfect. I just knew we would come up with something. I think my mom is my mom is watching me. My mom is watching me. She's gonna get a little red bow right there. Isn't that cute? You couldn't have asked for a more perfect bow. Okay. <sighs> well, it wasn't pink red heart. It was a it was a it was pink. It wasn't red. I think I think that was I think it was red and it was reflect. I thought it was red too. But anyway, this one's perfect. More better. This is more better, perfect. More better. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's wind this. Let's wind these girls down. We got we got beads to put onto this one. We can still put leaves in her hair. There's another one. 
more better a lot. That's right. <laughs> I've always made up words and growing up. One of my favorite words was it was worser. Mm -hmm. I love the word worser. It should be a word. If it was worst, what was worser? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. English language, most hardest language to learn out of all the languages of the world. The English language is the hardest. More better. Better, better, more better. Yeah. Sounds good. So anyway, she does need a little something here. Oh, she could use a little daisy. I think those little daisies are kind of cute. I'm going to put it on her. So I've got all I have to do is the beads in her hair. And she's done. I love the I love what I did with the music on the hem of her dress. I like that. And I need to um, put a little water on the, the crease of this cordage to get that curve out of it. That might work. That's not too bad. It, it's uh, it's blowing in the wind. Okay. It's just blowing. So she just needs the beads in the hair is all she needs. And this is my sample. And this girl needs, uh, she needs a couple of gold leaves. And then all she needs is her beads in her hair so you know what These aren't, I don't think they are. Oh my gosh. No, they're not. For a minute there, I thought that these were uh, stickers. For a brief moment. Decoupage. No, I don't think they have stickers on the back of them. Okay. So back to square one, and we'll put get a little bit of glue on these leaves. And stick them in her hair. Stick them down in her hair. And then this one just needs uh, the, uh, the beads. I think that one's done. And this one is... Needs the leaves. Hi, Joy. Thank you, Cheryl. I'm not an English major or a professor, <laughs> but 
but when I hear poor grammar, it irks me a little because <laughs> my kids will screw up words li don't like when they when they do it either. But we are con constantly correcting them. Yeah. Well, I do it. Uh, I do it, you know, with you girls, but I don't do it when I'm not supposed to do it, I suppose. <laughs> At least I do know the difference, I suppose. But my grandmother, I had a grandmother and she would, uh, she, would, she rolled her eyes to my mom so many times and she would say, Jondal, are you pregnant again? <laughs> she goes, I'm number five. And she goes, well, yeah. <laughs> and my grandmother would get furious with my mom because she kept having kids. <laughs> and so I have to say that, that year did hurt my feelings. So I was kind of quiet around, around my grandmother. <laughs> She bought me a dictionary, and I think I still have the dictionary. <laughs> Gosh. So, so anyway, uh, but she would she would always quiz us, and we would get to go and spend a week with her in the summer. And she goes, "Now, children," she says, "Now, what what do you call this on the plate?" And and then we call it's a sandwich. <laughs> And she goes, no, 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 no. It's a sandwich. Now, is it witch or witch? And then she did the witch thing with this. And oh my gosh, we'd have to sit there for the lecture. <laughs> you didn't get to hear what happened. I saw that, <laughs> Joy. My uh, my mom. <laughs> That's right. It's a sandwich. <laughs> My mom had, there was five of us kids, and my grandmother, every time my mother come, would come into the house, and she'd go, Jondal, are you pregnant again? And my mom would go, yes. <laughs> and she, and my grandmother, she lived in the city, and she thought we were heathens. She thought we were wild child were children, and we weren't. We were normal, happy children. Every one of us grew up good. Nobody in jail, nobody in trouble, nobody with tickets. I mean, literally, we were we, we have been a good family. We 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 were brought up good by two good parents, and and uh, and really, my grandmother had nothing to worry about. But mother was a teacher, and she always taught us both ways. She says, "Now you know the right way to say it," but we but we had fun joking around with it. <laughs> And she bought me, a, my grandmother bought me a dictionary for my birthday one year when I was a little girl. And I was crushed. I was so hurt. And I was hurt, hurt so bad. I thought that was sad. <laughs> but we always talk like that. But we're not really country. We're, we were raised right outside of city limits. It's not like. And yes, we had some land, and Daddy liked to garden, but it wasn't as big as my uncle's garden. My great uncle had a big farm, and he had cows and pigs and chickens, and there was always eggs. And we'd go up during strawberry season and pick strawberries, and and my uncle would say, "Now, kids, don't eat the big ones," because <laughs> he was selling the strawberries, and we were eating the big ones. <laughs> Because they were good. <laughs> but we had a wonderful childhood. We were all we were all brought up good. I swear, every one of us. Yep. But we lived in we lived in in Appalachia, West Virginia. So you you did hear both ways of saying things. We heard both ways to say it. The twangy way and and the and we knew the right way, but we always made fun of the twang. We liked to we liked to goof off with the twang. Okay, I'm winding down. This is my sample. 
This girl here needs some more hair. I'm giving everybody leaves and toothpicks. Good, 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 good. Okay, so we made two new ones. All these girls need is their uh, their jewels. They're doing good. Okay. So I need another toothpick. And a green toothpick would look good on this little girl. I got the hiccups now. I laughed so hard. And we have a little bit of, of a leaf going on her hair. So let's glue hers in. I'll stick the cat one under the ear and put her her, her little sticks and Chinese sticks in her hair. I guess they're chopsticks. I don't know what they are. But they look so cute. <laughs> they look so cute. And I think the higher the, the higher or the up they are, the more cute they are. <laughs> oh, you found your truck and added it to your tag fluff. Flippy. Good. Okay, now you're now you've got them all. <laughs> yeah, we like the accent and repeat, peat and repeat. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We we goof off like that. We're just we're just a happy family. So I need some more black. And I need to do I need a bow for her hands. And Green and green, red, and black. What do I have? It's green, red, and black. Yeah. Either green, red, or black. I got this red bow. Will that work on that one? I think it will. We'll just put that on there. There's a it's a that's more of a pink. I'll let you all decide. Either the burgundy red for her hands and put a and put her a little I could put another bird in her hand like that. Or a daisy. <laughs> the daisy looks more like a garden. I'm going to use the daisy. Okay. A uh, blue would work. Blue. Well, I'm going to try this. I'm going to try this and we'll see how this looks. Let's just give that a shot. And I'm going to make her hair next. So let's here I think I'm um, I got all my, I got all I need out I can put, put this up okay so I need my pencil back oh I was going to do I was going to do one in this collar oh well we'll do that next time since I'm doing so much tonight We'll do her next time. Let's see. There was, there was, um, let me get my phone. <laughs> there was another uh, girl and she had pigtails on the, um,
on her on her hair and stuff. I'm just trying to think if I wanted to. I think it was on YouTube. So let me go to Origami. Let me look up this. So we can see some different hairdos. And uh, there was one that was real cute. See, this is the one. This is the one girl I'm doing. I've done her. Oh, look at her fan. I didn't do her. Didn't do her. I didn't do anything like that. This this is the one I saw with the hair, the ponytails, and the hair coming down the front. But I've already got a bun on her. But I could still do the ponytail or the the long in the front. Okay, I think I know what to do. I'm going to I'm going to make this girl. And she's going to go down like that. And then this is going to be the top of her head. Let me try. See if I can't give her some character. You know I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. And all I have to do is cut straight up the sides. And this will go on the front side of her. And then this will be the back side of her. And I'll give her some little haircut thingy dingies. Like that. So this will glue. She'll glue glue on the back of her head. Like this. And then I can make her bangs. Just did that cold turkey, 47 degrees. My goodness, I think it's probably 70 outside here. And I'll tell you what I'm going to do before. Oh, pfft, I tore her chopstick off. It was gluing so good. I like doing little snippies in her hair, too. In her bangs. Okay. And then here's the magic. Are you ready? Here's the back of her hair. And here's the front. And then we can flip this over to the front. Like that.
And I think I'll need to trim that just a little bit. Can you tell? She's a little lopsided. She's just looking over that direction. That's what it is. She's not lopsided. She's just looking over there. See? She's just looking over there. <laughs> Thirty-four. Oh my goodness, Barb. I'm glad we don't have we don't get we get just we get usually get one or two frost and it's only for a couple of hours. But it is enough to kill the flowers. One or two hours will do it. So uh this one's sticking up, so I'm gonna glue it down. I just tacked it down. Okay, so we got her ready. All she needs is some beads. And I think we're done with that. We'll do these next time. I'll save these for Tuesdays. I'm, I'm going to make her dress out of a map. And I'll find some. Uh, I'll find something cute to go with her cape. I used the, the Japan map uh, for her dress. It's all in Japan. I used the island, so so that'll be cute. I thought that was, would be something fun, different to do. So these need the 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 things on top as well. And we're done with all of the girls, except for their uh, their beads and their chopsticks. And do you want me to show you how to do it, <laughs> or shall we wait and do that Tuesday? I am obsessed with these girls. <laughs> yeah, I am. <laughs> they are really, really cute. I think I'm going to quit uh, for tonight, and we will do the beads next time. And they will, they will. Uh, I've got the thread, and. Um, and I'll do the beads for all of them, and I show and I'll show you how I wrapped them around. It's on a um, a coat thread. It's a heavier thread, and uh, we'll do these little dangly things. And uh, I'll show you how I do those Tuesday. So, but I think they're done. Let me clean my table off. So you can see the girls. But I'm going to put them all through my book. Uh, my Japanese book. I'm going to put them all through the book. Um, some of them are going to be glued in to the book. Like on the back cover and the front cover. And I think I might put one on the very front of the book. And um, we'll... we'll We'll see what we can come up with. But they're all different. I got music papers. And I've got Japanese paper. And just pretty, pretty, pretty. They're pretty. So uh, I'm going to leave it with that tonight. <laughs> it's a choir. It's like a little choir. Let me see if they'll stand up and so I can take their pictures. They're not going to stand up. Some of them will. Get up there. Come on. She's leaning is what it is. She likes to lean. 
I think she's cute too. Oh, she needs a face. Sorry. She can't see. She couldn't see a thing. She could not see a thing. Oh, shoot. I had him perfectly. I'm going to take a picture of him. Come on now, girls. Straighten it. There. I think the fan is blowing him. <clears throat> All right, I got a little picture. <laughs> well, I don't think I'm I need any doll stands because I'm going to put them all in the Japanese book. Well, not all of them. I've been sticking them in Happy Meal, so you go. So you all know me. You gotta know that I'm I'm not keeping them all. The first batch are gone. I don't know where I don't know where they all went to, but they left. They left the house. <laughs> Thank you, Cheryl. <laughs> Hi, Debbie. <laughs> Deborah Brown's still here. Yay! Thank you, Deborah. Thank you, Sharon. <laughs> Playing with paper dolls again. My goodness. What's going to come of us? Thank you, Janice. They are cute. So uh, we will do some more. I'll be back. This is Saturday. So I'll be back Tuesday. And I will probably see you in the chat room somewhere along the way. Because that's where we hang out in the chat rooms. That's what we like to do. And we'll do some more next week. And I might do some gluing in here tomorrow. Get some paper glued down on the rest of my pages. Uh, finish uh, putting some papers down. So I can be working on that. So I will, I'm going to go. It's, it's 1130. So you guys have a good rest of the weekend. Okay. Be safe. Be careful. Be good. Be joyful. So I will see you soon, okay? That's all I'm going to do. Okay, nighty night. Love you guys. Thank you.